Now let me tell you there is some connection between concave and quasi concave. Okay. So any guesses what can be that connection? Yeah. All concave functions are quasi concave, but the converse may not be true. Okay. So uh, if f is concave then f is quasi concave okay okay so before i prove this okay uh, can you think of a quasi concave function which is not concave very good xy absolutely okay so the utility function xy uh you know, uh, uh, so it's from R2 plus to R, okay? Uh, so R2 plus is important, okay? Uh, because if it is from R2 to R, then, uh, you know, it is not quasi-concave, okay? Uh, so if it is from R2 plus to R, it is it is quasi-concave, okay? Uh, so XY is quasi-concave uh, because upper level set is a convex set, okay? But it is not concave, we have just seen that, okay? Uh, uh, by restricting the domain, we were able to find that this particular function is not concave. Okay. Uh, so, any example where the function is defined on real line? Okay, so can you think of any example like that where the function is defined on real line? So, you, you want to think about a function which is quasi concave but not, uh, not concave. A real line or a subset of real line, whatever you wish. Okay, e to the power x, absolutely. e to the power x because it is an increasing function and we have just seen that all increasing functions are quasi-concave and uh, e to the power x is definitely not a con concave function, right? I mean, uh, we already know that, okay. Is 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 that fine? Okay. Any other question? Uh, do you have any other function in mind that you want to ask? Okay, uh, in fact, you know, even this function, for example, you remember this is quasi concave because upper level set will be a convex set. Okay, so this is a quasi concave function, but not a concave function. Okay, uh, so you can also construct examples discontinuous or whatever you wish. Okay, uh, uh, so there are lots of them. Okay, uh, but of course you cannot find a concave function which is not quasi concave because this is true. Okay, every concave function is quasi concave. Uh, so let's uh, prove it. Okay. Okay. So if I want to show that f is quasi concave, what do I what do I need to do? I can basically prove it in two ways now, right? I can either show that p is upper level set is a convex set, or I can show that averages are better than extremes. Property is true. Okay, uh, because I know that they are equivalent. Okay, so I'm going to use, uh, you know, uh, the averages are better than extremes property. It's just going to be quick. Okay, uh, so let's let's prove this. So uh, I'm going to pick arbitrary x prime, x double prime. Okay, uh, consider arbitrary x prime, x double prime, and an arbitrary lambda. Okay, so I'm not right. I'm not going to write everything. Okay, so I'm just going to say it. Okay, uh, consider arbitrary x prime, x double prime, arbitrary lambda between zero and one. Now, I know that the function is concave. So since the function is concave, I know that this is true. This is greater than or equal to lambda fx prime plus one minus lambda fx double prime, right? I mean, this is true because f is, is, is a concave function, right? Okay, yes or no? Yes, okay. Now, I want to show that this is quasi concave. So what does what, what do I want to do? You know, I mean, I want to show that this term is greater than or equal to minimum fx prime fx double prime. Don't you think that's immediate from this? Okay, let me just replace this by a smaller value. Okay, let me just replace this by min of fx prime fx double prime. And also replace this by a smaller value, okay, which is min of fx prime fx double prime okay uh, can i do this if i if i do this replacement what can you say about this inequality uh, i mean can i can i write it like this can i say that this is true yes or no 
Yes. Okay. Now, what is this sum? Can you tell me what is the sum? Just lambda times this number plus one minus lambda times the same number. It's just this number itself, right? Okay, so we have shown that you know uh, this is greater than or equal to this. So averages are better than extremes. Property hold. Okay, uh, when the function is concave. So basically, every concave function is quasi-concave. Okay, is that clear? Can you tell me what is the contrapositive of this? What is the contrapositive of this? This is an implication, right? F is concave implies F is quasi-concave. So what is the contrapositive of this? If F is not quasi-concave, it is not concave. Very good, okay? So if F is not quasi-concave, it is not concave, okay? Now let me give you some function, okay, which is defined on R2 plus. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plot an upper level set, okay? And then you'll have to tell me whether this particular function is concave or not, okay? So so are you getting it okay so uh so what i'm going to do is this let's consider let's consider this function okay uh so so i'm going to draw an upper level set okay so it's it's let me also tell you the function okay so i'm drawing an upper level set for x square plus y y square okay so So this is an upper level set for x square plus y square okay so i'm just fixing some a and this is pa okay okay now my question is you know this is an upper level set for 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 this particular function what can you say about this particular function is this function concave it is not concave why not it is not it's because it is not quasi concave right because it is not so you just you just told me right i mean if a function is not quasi concave it cannot be concave right so so we know that this upper level set is not a convex set since this upper level set is not a convex set so uh, uh so clearly this particular function uh uh is not quasi concave and if a function is not quasi concave it cannot be concave right so i mean this is a common problem you know most students face this issue that okay look at this level curve you know it is a con it looks like concave how come the function is not concave this is the level curve that you are plotting okay this is not the function okay this is not the graph of the function that you are plotting here this is a level curve that you are plotting and uh you know uh, in fact you know whenever the level curve is is concave and the direction of preference is in this direction the function cannot be concave i mean this is what we have just proved okay so just use these terms carefully okay very important that you use these terms carefully this quasi concave concave so if you if you want to check uh, so if if you just draw the level curve and then figure out the upper level set it's not a convex set then you can show that the function is not quasi concave and we know that we have just shown that every concave function is quasi concave so just use this result any function that is not quasi concave cannot be concave so this is a very powerful result okay again it's a simple proof but again it's just very uh, uh, helpful in identifying whether a particular function is uh, is concave or not okay so now let me just again ask you this remember max of min of x to y min of 2x comma y okay so i told you that this particular function is i mean i we have seen the picture the 3d picture and we we have seen that it is not concave but suppose you know we don't have that kind of technology to draw the picture and let's just use this result now you know uh, to show and we can always plot the level curves you know uh, they are just going to be like this okay okay and the upper level set is going to be like this okay uh, now is this a convex set is this a convex set so can we say that this particular function is quasi concave can we no it's not quasi concave and because it is not quasi concave it is not 
on k is that okay have you understood this okay 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 so now let me ask you another question okay uh, so suppose i have this is the upper level set again the function is defined on r2 plus okay and i'm drawing the upper level set is this function well let, let's assume that this is uh, how the upper set upper level set looks for every level okay can i say that this function is quasi concave now can i say that this function is concave the function that gives you this upper level set can i say that that's concave no can you think of an example or uh, you just gave me one example x y absolutely okay fine so i mean it's not that the converse is true you know so just be a little careful so if you you know if you draw an upper level set like this then that doesn't mean that it's coming from a concave function okay uh, i mean it's possible that uh, the function is just quasi concave and not concave okay uh, so just be a little careful about this okay uh, so if it is not convex okay this upper level set is not convex for some level then certainly the function cannot be concave you know that's for sure but if it is convex then you know there is no guarantee you know it depends on the function okay uh, so as you have seen that x times y will give you uh, this le upper level set and it is a convex set but x times y is not a concave function and if you look at x to the power half y to the power half it will also give you an upper set level set like this for every a uh, and it is a concave function okay uh, because every concave function will give you an upper level set which is a convex set okay so uh, so it's not a surprise okay 